Hi, this is Ryan Strada, Ronin General Manager, uh, here to talk about winching and or hauling using the Ronin lift today. So, um, simply put, all you do is tether the Ronin to the ground, and then you can see we have a one-to-one -one setup here with 400 pounds, which is the max lifting capacity of the Ronin lift. Uh, this is the equivalent of 181 kilogram, and all we'll do is go ahead and lift our load today. And uh, you'll notice when we want to lower it, I've actually done a reroute up here with the carabiner. This just makes it a little bit easier to control the load on the way down. And then our load's down to the ground safely. Uh, a few things about the, uh, the battery. We do have some protection built in here. So the battery does have an overcurrent protection limit. So if you try to lift something that's too heavy or you're too far over the uh, max lifting capacity of 400 pounds, uh, the battery will overcurrent and shut the system off. Um, also, it's important to note that we have a, uh, two attachment points on the Ronin lift. The upper attachment point on top of the housing is actually so you can uh, rig a two to one or three to one for mechanical advantage lifting. Uh, this gives you the ability to lift 800 or 1200 pounds with a Ronin lift. Uh, but like I said, if your rigging is incorrect or anything like that, and it's too high or you have any shock loading in the system, uh, the battery will tell you by overcurrenting and shutting the Ronin off. Simply uh, to reset the system, just take the battery off, Wait about five seconds, slap it back down again, you'll hear your five beeps and you're ready to go.